myself and Dean have just come to Mtumzini Banks. It's a perfect time of year. It's mid-February. We're just on our second day of Northeast. Uh, exactly the, kind of the, the wind that you want. We just arrived here. We're at 11 o'clock low tide, just off spring tide. You want to fish this place on a low tide. It's the home of the Diamond Skate and the Zambezi that eats the Diamond Skate. So we're here for a bit of fun. Hope you guys can show you a bit of action. <laughs> well, we had a couple of baits out. I saw the whole mackerel off the back of the bank there. And it went so nicely. And all I did was hear the, hear the, the ratchet of the, of the Saltiga Hopper. Just one little zing and when I got here it was just slack, 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 slack. The line was all the way down the beach. Feels like I've got an Anya. Uh, that's a little milky. Or a little spinner. Oh, it's not, it's a black spot. A little black spot. Beautiful little black spot. So, uh, without further ado, let's get him back in the water. And hopefully we can get something that uh, that we attend. We wish we're going to maybe swim a bait or two, but this guy's just a little bit small for that. We want that like five, six kilo fish. Want that? This is what's great about the braid and the wind course five five. You can feel anything, but if you've got pickers, you can feel them. If you've got a small fish eating that big bait, you can feel them. And generally, you can actually hook them as well. Yo, look at the size of that wobble. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. How's the size of that fish tail? My goodness me. That just shows we're fishing a little bit in the stones here. You've got to be very careful of those spines. This is a particularly big one. So if he had to spine you, you'd be in a lot of a lot of pain. So we'll get the hook out with a pair of pliers and we'll get him straight back again. I'm gonna grab him just like that. No harm, no foul. And we're gonna get him back. <laughs> definitely, definitely not target species. What have I got? <laughs> I'm over this. I am grumpy, grumpy now. Yeah, to our barn, Dad. These fish, we're throwing bigger and bigger baits. Full metal jacket, 90 pound surf lock, and a nano Yamagatsu octopus. And we're still hooking these fishtail barbel. This, this fish ate a whole mackerel. Unbelievable. Better than a barbel, I suppose. But they're loving that whole mackerel. I mean, these fish are eating whole mackerel. Unbelievable. I haven't caught one of these for years. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this and uh, we're going to slide that a bit later for a java or hopefully a, a Zambezi or something like that. So I'm not going to put this guy back. I'm going to use it for bait. <laughs> that was on two body chops and the balance of a whole mackerel. Look at the size of that little milk shark. Quite cute, but it's not really not our target species. Anyway, let's get it back. Cheers, bud. <laughs> Guys, that ends a really difficult session on Mtanzini. Uh, we battled a bit, a lot of small fish, but uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning early. So check us next week. Cheers.